um, 7K in five days was what I found. And if you look at the sort of Facebook profiles and stuff like that, lots of money, flashy rides, um, expensive chicks, no, um, expensive clothes, hot chicks, hot expensive chicks, um, hot expensive luxury chicks, and um, uh, they're easy to spot because they're like, yeah, man, um, really, uh, really, they're not ballers on a budget. Um, which was a phrase I heard this year. So uh, and then you saw like status updates like this. Uh, I get paid in pounds, but collecting Nigeria. Lots of pictures of um, uh, Western Union. They party hard, um, like ninjas, um, but less leet, uh, or maybe not less leet. Actually, who cares? They do it. Um, Western Union pictures. Um, so you know, what's the attraction? Well, base salary or average salary in Nigeria is like two hundred dollars, four thousand in the U.S. So obviously. Um, there's also a lot of a lot of history there. I ramble through this quickly because I've got like five minutes. But uh, I saw some pictures like this, but not these ones. So if you Google duffel bag full of money, you'll find out where this picture came from. But there were other pictures uh, out there, and you can Google them. Some of them looked a little bit more like that, but they weren't those ones because otherwise I'd get bumped off. Um, and then there was stuff like this as well. Um, that's actually my laptop this morning. Uh, no, it's not. Um, <laughs> Clearly, I'm using a Mac, and I don't drink whatever that is. Um, but then I saw lots of pictures of Nigerian dudes with these things, which is, I believe, the Americanism for gun, right? Um, I may have got that wrong. Um, I want to get through the, the rest, so links with uh, Terra. Uh, there's an organization called uh, Ultrascan Advanced Global Inter Investigations. Uh, they're based out of Amsterdam, Amsterdam, Amsterdam. Um, and they're really the experts in this field. They've done a lot of research in there, and they got a 2009 paper which uh, noted that 2008, 2009, there was direct evidence linking advanced fee fraud networks to, uh, um, to, uh, to terrorist activity. So, okay, true identity of the scammer. Hey, this is Alice. I sent him an email from uh, a different account. Will you be my friend? Sure. Uh, post a note on Facebook because I'm, um, I'm having some problems. Sure. Uh, thanks. Hot stuff. Um, say hi to X. Um, that's the scammer saying that. And X was a friend of hers on Facebook. So now I had a little bit more of a, uh, a link. This is the link that I saw um, on um, Facebook. Oh, we've got plenty of time. We've got five minutes. This was a link that we saw on on uh, Facebook, so the, the scam was like, hi, sort of thing. Uh, so I was like, right, bingo, we got the connection between Alice and the Nigerian scammer, and because he said, say hi to XXX, which then found out that was like Alice's like man, uh, or what have you. So we had like this interesting um, connection now where you had Nigerian scammers all sort of hanging together. So. Um, Scammer networks, how do they work? Um, on record, at least, you've got 62 different Nigerian crime cells in the UK. Um, Spain's the highest in the world with 72 uh, organized crime cells. The Uf USA uh, is 53, but don't feel too bashful because you've got like 2,500 people in those 53 cells, uh, twice the number of anybody else, and 916 uh, around the world. Lots of members raking $9.3 billion a year. So how would you get paid? Uh, so you could compile all the information into a blog, into a blog post, or create a Facebook fan site saying this person stole all my stuff. I'd kind of like it back. Um, then you can email the scammers and say, um, if you don't, you know, if we don't reach an amicable agreement, then Google's going to, you know, index this and it'll be there forever. Uh, follow up with a call. Uh, see Jason Street's talk from yesterday. How you could do that anonymously. Agree amicable terms. Uh, so then they're like, okay, how do I send you the money? It's like, well, um, cash, bank, PayPal, Western Union. Are all going to get you whacked. Um, the other one might not, uh, but there's a limit on there. So, okay, let me end with a health, health warning. Messing with criminals can um, reduce your life expectancy. So, um, to do that, you're either limited to public information due to the terms of service. If you friend up with people with your own profile, which is the only terms of service compliant way to do it, you'll need uh, balls of steel. Um, if you work with law enforcement, then you're okay. Um, uh, but you'd still have to break the terms of service and Facebook will come after you. So uh, mining data has been is more accessible than ever before because there's so much of it out there and it's a lot of fun. Uh, visualization can help you home in on uh, interesting relationships and uh, any arc and you know, name density recognition can help you classify it. Combine all three of those and you're on to uh, some interesting stuff. Um, 
if you're on Twitter and you want to see who's tweeting about Maltigo, uh, at Paterva, uh, at Singe, Mubix and Khan Lonage are all far, far smarter than I am. Um, social network tweeters, Tom Eston, Robin Wood, uh, Agent 0x0, Digi Ninja have done the, you know, the uh, social, uh, social zombies talk. Harmony Guy, follow him, he's awesome. And social media security. And Dan, um, data mining visualization, Damon Cortesi, Neil uh, Codner, if you follow, uh, if you tweet Full Metal Jacket, um, then you get like the Sergeant Major dude from uh, Full Metal Jacket giving you crap on Twitter. Um, try that, it's funny, that's Neil. Um, Pete Warden's the dude who nearly got sued by Facebook, and Raphael Marti and Secviz are the same person, um, uh, and awesome guy. So um, that's about all I've got to say about that. Um, I'm in room, what is it, 111 one, one or something? Okay. Um, and that's a website, it's got the white paper from the talk and, and stuff like that. So that's all, folks. Um.